Let me get directly to the point. Do you have a bank account where you deposit all your money, get your salaries and do all the transactions? I can see that you're nodding yes. Then my friend, this video is definitely for you. I'll take you beyond all those glassy counters and directly into the world of commercial banks, how they function, what they are, what they do, and much, much more. Hi all, my name is Thiraj Vaidya from wallstreetmojo.com, the place to learn most authentic information on finance and accounting. Let's get started. So did you guys know that in the United States alone, there are 4,951 commercial banks and saving institutions present as of September 2021? Throughout the world, there are many, many more commercial banks providing their services. So what is a commercial bank? A commercial bank actually caters to every banking needs of a customers. It accepts deposits, processes loans, offers credit cards, debit cards, merchant services and treasury services among other things. To put it simply, I would say that a commercial bank serves individuals from various walks of life. For example, a young professional, you know, he can open a salary account in the bank to get his salary credited into that account. A person can get a loan to buy his dream house for his family. A woman can start her own business by taking a loan. A person can get an auto loan to buy his dream vehicles. Even senior citizens can deposit their retirement money safely in the bank and enjoy interest. Let us now look at the primary function and the secondary function of any commercial bank. Accepting deposits and providing loans are the two primary functions of a commercial bank. In addition, they have various secondary functions like providing overdraft facilities, discounting bills of exchange, and safe locker facilities. The primary function of a commercial bank will actually never change, but the secondary procedures actually vary from bank to bank. So how exactly these commercial banks work? Let's understand this. So you know what? Banks collect money from different depositors and provide that money as loans to individuals as well as businesses in need. So in some cases, in fact, banks can also borrow money from other banks to basically maintain liquidity and uh, give it to the customers. This is called as an interbank lending. Let's see an example. Say that there is Mr. A who deposits $10,000 for one year in a bank at an interest rate of 2%. Now, obviously, we can calculate the interest that he will earn on this, right? So the interest that the bank will pay to Mr. A will be how much? $10,000 into 2% that is $200. Now let's assume there is Mr. B who goes to the bank and requests another $10,000 for one year. Now in this case what will happen is this commercial bank will take the amount that was deposited from Mr. A and lend it to Mr. B for the higher interest rate say at 5% and ask him to pay within let's say one year. So in this case, Mr. B will have to pay an interest expense of how much? $500, right? And on the other hand, Mr. A will get how much? $200 from the bank, right? So the difference between the two, that is $500 as interest income for the bank and $200 as uh, the amount paid to Mr. A, the difference is how much? $300. And that's the revenue for the bank. And that is how actually banks work. So as we discussed earlier, a bank provides a variety of primary and secondary functions or as we commonly call as services, right? So nearly for all the services provided, a fees is collected by the bank and these may include monthly maintenance charges, minimum balance fees, overdraft fees, non-sufficient you know, fund charges, safe deposit fees, late fees and much, much more. However, please remember, Interest from the loans and the fees collected are the primary income for commercial bank. Trust me when I say that these commercial banks are an integral part of the economy. They help in providing the consumers with all money related services. 
you know, when the need arises, they provide the required capital and liquidity in the market as well. Apart from this, commercial banks also provide large number of job opportunities. So based on a statistics, you know, as of 2021, nearly 1.83 million people are working in FDIC insured commercial banks only in the US. Now coming to the main point, guys, have you ever thought why many people actually prefer having a savings account and deposits in a commercial bank? So the main reason here is that they are insured up to you know $25,000 by the FDIC or the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. So basically this protects the depositor in case of a bank failure or a threat. Plus they are very much safe and guarded of course. And apart from this, commercial banks are heavily regulated by central bank of that country. So they also have to comply with a lot of legal requirements. So the most important aspect here is the reserve ratio. So what is it? It's basically the minimum amount that needs to be kept aside by a commercial bank as per the central bank's regulation. It is mandatory to follow this rule and the central bank holds the authority to change this ratio as per the economy. In the US currently it is 10% and these regulations actually help the commercial bank to function effectively. So now in this digital era, many commercial banks have actually gone completely online that is, they do not have any physical branches. Therefore, the charges of rental property and taxes have reduced for them. And as a result, they can actually pay higher interest rates to the depositors, right? And also, the commercial banks have not restricted themselves to only the commercial aspects. They have also started providing investment banking, you know, money management and other valuable services too. Let us have a closer look and analyze the advantages and disadvantages of a commercial bank. The main advantage of a commercial bank is that they provide timely financial assistance, right? Another advantage is that the loans are provided with many simple formalities. Again, your information provided to the bank is highly confidential, right? And there is significantly less chance of fraudulent activity to occur on the bank's end. And last but not the least, your money is absolutely safe in the bank. The significant disadvantage involved are the cost of the charges for nearly every service that they provide. Night deposits, charges. Processing the loans, charges. Payroll services, charges. Mortgage, charges. Made the payment late, guess what? Also, if you look at the efficiencies of the bank is also reducing and not to forget the deteriorating customer services. Sometimes, in fact, the banks also impose complex terms and conditions on the loans. And this may be very hard for the customers too. Now that we have understood what commercial banks are and how they work, let me give you some examples of the biggest commercial banks around the world. Let's start with the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. It has total assets, you know, worth of whooping 5.11 trillion US dollars and it is the world's largest bank. The second largest bank is also in China. It is the China Construction Bank Corporation having 4.31 trillion US dollars in assets. Now, another top bank is the Mitsubishi UFJ Finance Group. That is one of the biggest banks in Japan and it has an asset worth of, you know, 3.4 trillion dollars. Again, in, in the US, we have this JP Morgan Chase Bank that is the sixth largest bank in the world. And in India, there is the State Bank of India that is the biggest commercial bank. So let me conclude this by saying that commercial banks are fundamental aspects of country's economy and they help maintain the cash flows throughout the country. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, then you may do so by writing about it in the comments section. Also, you know, we come up with interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you can get the notifications as soon as we release the latest videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.